back, everybody, to our Gamma 2017 coverage here in Las Vegas. Today, I have Sean from Baksha Games with me. Yes. Welcome, welcome. I see you've brought a bunch of stuff for us to take a look at, so let's get into it. What would you like to talk about first? A uh, little drop of poison. Oh, all. all right. It's a good little, uh, little card game. Um, essentially, it's, it's the story of the rats versus the weasels. Mm, that's the so, epic uh, legend, yes. Yes, indeed. So uh, there's a rat king and a weasel king. And it's, the game's broken down into assassination rounds. So every assassination round, you're going to have one of the kings. So we'll just take out the rat king for now. And then oh, each of the players, three to eight players, um, works very well even with the three players. But once you get into the chaos of the so six, seven, eight players. party game-ish zone? Yeah. Or, okay, okay. Yeah, uh, can be made into a drinking game. <laughs> Just saying, that's been done. Um, and then each of us is, is going to be either a rat or a weasel. Oh my gosh, the art is adorable on this. Like yeah, these are like just, it. these characters are lovely. Uh, and then we're gonna get some poison. There are four different colors of poison with either one, two, or three drops mm -hmm. of poison mm -hmm. on it. And, uh, uh, and then everyone's going to get some poison. Mm -hmm. So you'll get a couple of poison cards to play. Okay, do I want poison? Oh yeah. Okay. There's, you're going to be getting points for killing other people. Oh my goodness! Okay. Yeah. Well, they are rats and weasels, exactly. so you know. <laughs> exactly. So, you, as a weasel, you would get three points for killing the rat king, but you can't get that this assassination round. Two points for killing the weasel king, one point for killing a rat, and zero points for other weasels. So there are factions that will form gotcha. naturally. Yep. And each assassination round, the factions will change. Okay. Uh, so you can play as much poison as you like but you must play at least one card, and you can only choose one target. You can't split your poison up. Okay. Now it's gonna take three drops of the same color to kill any peasant. Okay. And depending on the number of players in the game, for example, at a four player game, it's gonna take five drops of the same color to kill the king. Okay, so it kind of scales, so depending scales. on player count, gotcha. And so everyone's gonna play face down. So. Oh, okay. All right. All right. At all right. first, you're going to play face am I, down. I'm a, I'm a weasel. You're a weasel right now. Yes. Okay, I'm a weasel. Yeah. So you would probably not play on this weasel. Sure, sure. Play on one of the rats or the king, depending on what you. Yes. All right. All right. So I, I, I'm just going to this little farmer. What did I ever do to rat. you? You're a rat. That's how this. We, we are okay. sworn enemies. All right. And, I'm a weasel. Uh, then I'm going to play this on uh, this weasel over here. <laughs> And without looking You're what right. they're doing. Okay. Not really important. Right. Uh, and then once everyone plays, then we're going to... Reveal. Reveal. Okay. Oh, look at that. He killed you. Dead nice. <laughs> <We're> done, rat. <laughs> that was oh, quick game. <laughs> well, no. You'll be back in the next assassination round. Okay. So they would get one point for killing you, and then you would be out for the rest of the assassination round. The assassination round is going to continue until either the king is dead, or there's one or fewer peasants left. Okay. Because if there's only one peasant, the king knows who's trying mm -hmm. to poison them. Done. Great. And you go till someone gets 10 points. So light, That's quick. It. That's yeah, and just kind of social and yeah. fun. Social and fun. Really, and really, it seems like there's a little like more depth than than it seems. Because you can bluff. You can now. And th that's, right, because you're playing everything face down. Face down. So the other thing is that, uh, that in the the base game that uh, that's out right now, um, this is what you're getting. There is another version of the game coming very soon where there's going to be some antidotes that you ah, can play. Okay. It's two kind of antidotes. There's a single color antidote where uh, if you play that on yourself or the king or another player, whatever, uh, that's going to take away all cards with that color. That match that on color, it. right. And, but it's going to stay in play and protect you. Okay, for the for whole the, for assassination, the assassination round. round. Okay. Whereas the universal antidote, what that's going to do is that's going to take away everything on you uh -huh. and go away. And then go away. That's awesome. I like what that adds yeah, to it a lot. And that's it very does. cool. Uh, awesome. Because if you, you're in a position where there's two of you left and there's a lot of poison on the king, if you think the other person is going to be able to assassinate the king, but you can't, you just yeah, kill him. Exactly. It so uh, it's definitely a party game. It's a kind of quick, light, three to eight players. What's the, and it's available now? It's available right now. Okay, available yeah. in stores. A little drop of poison. And what's the MSRP on it? Nine ninety five. So really, just a little deck box, yeah. card yeah. game, something you can throw down and play yeah. real quick with some friends. Yeah, new version is going to be twelve ninety five. Awesome. 11, 11.95, 12.95, 11.95. <laughs> so, 11 we'll verify that. Yeah. All right. Good. Well, you have some other boxes here. Can we can we scoop yeah. this up and let's yep. talk about what else you brought? 
just goes over and we'll deal with that later. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll just go right to, to good help the card game. Uh, my first game when I started to, into uh, doing board games was good help. Okay. And uh, it was a big box, uh, and it was a, a very rules heavy, and and took about three hours to play. Sure. Which there's nothing wrong with that. I love games like that. Indeed, but um, I decided that this might work a little bit better to distill it and get the playtime down to at least half. Okay. So I brought back a lot of the art and updated it all and so on, and now we have good help the card game. Good help the card game. Yeah. So. So what's the what's the theme? What's the story behind Essentially, good help? The story here is is that you've just finished your evil doctorate. You move back to the small Eastern European town you grew up in to start your revenge and build your first monster. Okay. So it's a Frankenstein monster building kind of a thing. Okay. Uh, you've got assistants that are going to be helping you out. Mm -hmm. uh, and you've got a castle mm -hmm. and doctors. Okay. Uh, and you're going to be sending... So you, ha you have to at least appear to be an upstanding member of society. So you send your assistants out to do things like go get body parts for you. Of course. So you have to get a brain, a torso, a set of limbs, and a set of supplies back to your castle mm -hmm. uh, using there are, are seven uh, town sites. Mm -hmm. And then once you assemble your monster, you send it out to the town to destroy the buildings you've been using. Mm -hmm. And if you destroy enough buildings, then you're the winner. But if there are too many monsters and not enough buildings for that, then the monsters will fight to the death. Gotcha. And, and so this is the card game of Good Help. Is, is it available in stores now, or is this coming out soon? Uh, this is going to be coming out uh, probably Q3. Okay. So almost done. Uh, well, it's done, but I think we're going to do a Kickstarter for it. And, okay. And, uh, so when, are, when do you? So, you're, so do you think you're going to launch the Kickstarter in Q3? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm going to launch the Kickstarter in probably, I'm hoping April, but maybe May. So really, really soon. It's going to be soon, yes. So if a monster crafting set collection game sounds like fun, people should be looking on Kickstarter in April for Good Help the Card Game? Yeah. Awesome. All right. I think we just have a couple more minutes here. Did you want to talk about Time Jockeys? Yeah. Uh, time Jockeys here uh, is almost sold out of its print run, actually, uh, which is why I didn't want to focus on that. Okay. Uh, but it's, it is a fun little card game. Um, Time Jockeys, you, uh, there's a, a company that's going to create time machines in the near future. Okay. Titor Corporation. Uh, I can't tell you how I know that, oh. but that's beside the point. Uh, they're not a philanthropic organization. Okay. It's all about the money. Okay. So they're going to send their time jockeys back in time to go and get either objects that no longer exist in the present mm -hmm. or to go and get video evidence of things that have happened. Mm -hmm. And as the time jockeys, mm -hmm. we're going to be bidding for their contracts amongst ourselves. Ah, uh, gotcha. Okay. So it's a little bit of bidding action. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you're going to try and execute these contracts. Okay. The thing is that by unfortunate experience, they found that you can spend a maximum of 15 days in the past cumulatively. Makes sense. And if you go over those 15 days, which is why we have that, mm -hmm. Uh, you die a very messy death. All righty, uh, noted. <laughs> and so you'd be out. So you have your 15 days, and all the contracts have a certain number of days that they will allot in order, gotcha. in order to finish. So that ranges from a one-day contract up to a four-day contract. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you're going to get more pay for the four-day contract, but if you mess it up, yeah, you're, uh, there, yeah. Uh, you're spending your days, which is the real... Uh, gotcha. real resource in this game is the time. Absolutely, which makes sense, time jockeys. I love but, the theme, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much, Sean, for stopping by. Thanks. Baksha Games, we really appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.